Welcome, Taurus Gemini, to your spiritual reading for February. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you. In your spiritual reading for the month. is control. Beautiful card there. This card is actually talking about how you can change your life in just an instant, kind of like a click of fingers, right? Um, it is so important to release this and realize. So anything that you need to release, go ahead and release so that way you can fly and take back the control that you have, but also realizing that you can have things within an instant makes this easy for you um, to be able to um, do the things that you need to do. Um, just be careful also because it also can be a trap, right? Sometimes um, our way that we're doing things law of, through law and attraction, things like this can actually trap you into feeling like you're maybe a victim of a circumstance um, when it comes to certain things. But remember, you don't have to be um, as long as you keep your positive um, energy going strong and keep yourself on the track of taking responsibility for yourself and your feelings, you can decide how you feel and decide what you want to be in, in charge of instead of having it in charge of you. So how awesome is that? Um, this is about educating yourself about what is going on within yourself, your emotions, or your health. As you go through life, your body changes and your thinking does too. It's part of growth. Pay attention to your body and your mind to, to better understand them and feel good about being your own advocate. Realizing you are in control will be rejuvenating and beneficial to your well-being. The whole idea is understanding things and taking things um, to a different and higher perspe uh, perceptive, of course. And this is why all the hawks are around her because they see from a higher perceptive. Um, so be like the hawk over here. <laughs> right, because they can look down on things and see things from a different point of view. Um, we got to love the control over here because it's just saying, do not allow things to control you. Remember you are in control, um, and you are the creator of your own destined path, right? Not talking about just faded, faded things. I'm talking about the destiny that you choose, um, things that you choose, right? If I don't want to buy this house, I don't have to buy that house. If I don't want to live here, I can get up and move. And if you know financially you can't do those things, you can always take back the control and try your hardest to free yourself and do the things that you need to do to make that destiny come true for yourself because only you have the freedom to do so. Um, and that way you're not allowing the negative things to control the mind, right? Or thinking that you're always in a prison. Um, escape that prison, right? Of course, there's always going to be some underlining circumstances to the situation as we're building and creating. But just knowing that there is a way to do things, um, it just means you have to put more thought into it and put your best foot forward. Okay. And the moon card coming out for you is... Set up and lead with the new moon in Capricorn. Absolutely, that's what I was talking about just now. Putting your best foot forward, um, taking on some Capricorn energy over here. And that's good because that means you're going to step up to the plate. You put yourself into the control center over here. You are, you know, your own control center. Nobody else has that ability to control um, but you. So making sure that you're really taking um, the lead over here. Take the bull by the horns and go strong, right? No one's going to keep you down. No one really has that ability unless you give that ability to them. Assess the situation. Absolutely. Look at it from a different perceptive um, point, knowing that you can save money, do this, do that, and do the things that you really want to do. Like I said, time is, of course, an issue always. Um, but with the perfect timing and within the perfect thoughts and positivity, and assessing all the situations around you, you can definitely um, get everything back into control the way you want to get things back in, into control. Um, and be real, right? Be real. Be realistic about the situation. Um, being real means understanding that, you know, this is, this is the way things really 100% work. It's not what you think. 
right? Other people's thoughts and opinions do not run you, <laughs> right? I rule you. They don't rule me. Um, this is for your own good and your own satisfaction. So talking about the real uh, card is sometimes we pursue someone or something for all the wrong reasons. Our ego gets involved and before we know it, we're dr driving ourselves crazy by chasing something that may not even be right for us. Now, here's the crazy thing because we're talking about stepping up, taking the lead. So therefore, if you're thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to do this and do that or I'm stuck over here. Be real about the situation. Remember, worry less and trust more within yourself. Um, make sure that you are doing what your heart wants to do. Do not allow whatever um, other influences are around you to, you know, take the lead. That's pretty much the point, right? Um, understand that there is great victory for you and that, you know, it's a long road ahead, but it doesn't mean it can't exist. How are you going to know if it's going to exist if you don't try, right? Or if you let others tell you this and that and the other. Depending on how it is, take it how it is. Everybody's story resonates a little bit different. But overall, it's about the same, right? You have it under control. Everything will be justified and keeping the balance going. And it feels like there's a lot of fairity that's going on uh, within you at this time. Just make sure that you're fair to yourself. Right? No. Yeah. Being real, making sure that you're putting yourself into the right moments, the right times for yourself. Okay, with the Ten of Cups over here, showing the overall satisfaction and things that are going your way. Right? So everything seems to be going your way. So that's a good thing. You want them to go your way. You want that satisfaction. There is a lot more to the puzzle um, than just meets the eye, right? understanding that and that's really underneath that assess the situation um, that there is glory and success for you once you really get there the card coming up for you is standing your ground really standing your ground for what it is you really want having patience while doing so because yeah it's gonna be a timely thing right anything we're gonna do is not going to just be 100% snap of the moment it just means that within a stab of the moment you can think of thoughts you can think of ways to take back the control Right? You put that into action, and then you patiently wait for the outcome, right? Because this material harvest, make sure that you're manifesting exactly what you want, and then go ahead and start, you know, working on that. That way the chariot can come through. All the hard work that you think about and all the things that you're, whoa, putting into you um, and into your mind is going to be a great outcome and achieving exactly what it is with the power sword over here. And I call it the power sword because it is triumph and success. Um, and this will get rid of any conflict or defeat that you have within your mind, making sure that you're sorting that out with the sword of truth because, yeah, the bottom of the deck is the truth. Um, literally clarifying that everything you're doing is for truthful matters. Wow. How beautiful is that? So this month, just make sure that you understand that, you know, and this is for the upcoming month, guys. Right, because these are not timestamps. You know, there, there's no real time on these. Spirit just says, this is what you're, I've seen you working on. This is where I want you to continue to keep going and growing. Right, there's no time stamp within these type of readings. It doesn't mean that this is what you're doing this month or that month. It just means this is what I see you doing. I want you to continue to keep going and having the understanding that this is, you know, this is what you continue working on. And it could take months to do. Right? But I always do them at the end of the month, so that way you have something that you can really work on next month. Right? That way it kind of gets into your mind saying, oh, you see me wanting to step up and take the lead. Oh, you see me trying to stand my ground for this, you know, certain situation. And that's really what it means. Okay? Okay, my friends. And I love this because this says, for self-care, clean your space. You know, as you're cleaning, you can actually, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do. You can start cleaning. Um, this will help you meditate, get your mind off of, you know, things like that. Sing while you're cleaning. 
um, that will help relieve stress, get out of any negativities that you have around you, um, you know, listening to meditative music, whatever it is you're doing, listening to the music of your choice that makes you have a higher vibration, makes you happy, and it doesn't matter if it's country, if it's this, if it's that, if it's rap, it don't matter. It's what you, good for you, right? It could be the heaviest heavy metal, and it don't matter, guys, right? It's only what's vibrating, making you happy. I always say listen to music while you're cleaning or sing while you're cleaning, right? However it is. But the reason is because cleaning, you really don't think a lot when you're cleaning. You just see stuff and do it, right? A different kind of thinking. Unless you're mad cleaning. I used to do that a lot. <laughs> Start getting mad and then take my frustrations out on cleaning the walls, right? This wall's dirty. <laughs> I used to do that a lot. Um, meditate when the kids were younger. I remember that. Take the frustrations out on the wall. This wall is really dirty. Um, you know, or this window is so dirty. Um, who's been touching the, the mirrors and windows? Okay, and movement. And so I love that because it's all coming under the same idea of the cleaning your space. Um, you know, is meditating, uh, movement, dancing, singing, things of this nature will help you also raise the vibrations. Because a lot of times you're saying, well, how am I going to raise the vibrations by doing these types of things, right? You don't always just have to sit in some yoga style and be like, um, okay, sorry, it gets boring. Okay. A lot of people can really do it. I can, I don't have, I'm a very hyper person, so I can't sit there very long to do that. Um, but kudos to those that can, my best friend can, she can sit there for hours and hours and hours. And it's like, wow, me, I need movement, right? So those of you who can't just sit here in lotus position for hours on time, um, go ahead and just do some movement because singing and dancing and stuff like that releases tension and puts you into a different uh, kind of state of mind, right? Because you're not really thinking about anything except for what's going on in the song or whatever, right? Okay, guys. And that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.